Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at WinLink forms inside of Pat WinLink. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So WinLink Forms is one of those features that's been missing from Pat WinLink since day one. However, with the latest release of Pat WinLink, we now have WinLink Forms inside of Pat. So for all the guys that support Ares or maybe a local Red Cross or other organization that wants you to be able to use WinLink Forms, we now have this built in to Pat Winlink. So a huge shout out and a thanks to everyone on the Pat Winlink development team. Uh, I think this is a really good update that they've put out for us. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Raspberry Pi. I wanna show you guys two different methods for getting this working. Uh, the first one will be on a brand new install and the second one is a little bit different if you're updating a current install of Pat Winlink. But let's go ahead and head over to the Pi and take a look at the way we get that done. Okay, so here we are on a brand new install of Pat Winlink. This is on my test box. Let's see if we can go ahead and get the forms downloaded and working with this version. So the first thing we want to do is come up to Action, and then we're going to come down to Update Form Templates. So go ahead and click on that and we'll just click the Update Now button right here. And you should be presented with a message right here, updated forms to whatever the latest version is. Now, I have uh, once or twice while playing with this over the last few days, ran into an error message right here. You'll get some red text here instead of this updated forms. If you do run into that, go ahead and try clicking the Update Now button again. Uh, in fact, uh, on one particular instance, I had to do it two or three times before I did see this updated uh, to the latest version message. But after clicking on it a couple of times, it did finally go ahead and download the forms. I'm not sure if that was an issue with the server that it's downloading from, or if it might have been a local issue here that I was having with my internet. But you do just want to get it to where it says updated forms to and that version number. Now, let's go ahead and close out of this, and then I'm simply going to refresh the browser right here. We do need to refresh that so that we get everything pulled in. Once we do that, let's go up to Action and come down to Compose. On the Compose screen, you will now see this Templates button. If we click on the Templates, it will load up all of the forms that we want to work with. So let's go ahead and just choose the ICS USA forms here. And we'll scroll down to ICS 213. And let's go ahead and click on that. And that's going to load up the ICS 213 form so that you can go ahead and fill it out. Once you're done, you can just click the submit button and that should dump you back into Pat Winlink where you're ready to send that message. Now, let's take a look at the second way of doing this. Uh, if, you're, if you already have Pat Winlink installed and you're updating to the newest version. Okay, so here we are on my 817 Pi and I'm going to run Pat space version. And that's gonna show you that I've got version 0.10 installed when the latest is uh, 0.11. So, the first thing we want to do is we're going to use Buildapi to go ahead and update Pat Menu to the latest version. So, let's go ahead and click on Buildapi here, and we'll give it a chance to scan. And it's going to tell us that uh, Pat Winlink needs an update. So, we'll go ahead and click through the first couple of screens right here. So I don't want to look at the base apps and I don't want to look at the FL Digi Suite. But on the HAM apps page, you'll see right here the very first line says Pat needs update. So we're going to put a check mark beside that 
and go ahead and just hit the next. It is going to ask me for my grid square and my password. So I'll enter both of those here. You would put your actual password, uh, not password right here. We'll go ahead and click continue. And then I'm just going to hit install and update selected. And I'll give this a couple of minutes to install everything. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so after Buildapi installs the latest uh, update for Pat Menu, we can carry on. Let's do a double check real quick just by running pat space version. And you'll see now that I do have 0.11 installed. Now, before you go any further with this video, this next step is absolutely critical in case something goes wrong here. Go ahead and open up Pat Menu. Come down to Manage Pat Win Link. Click on that. And then we're going to click on Backup Pat Config. And this is just going to give us a good backup in case we make a mistake editing the configuration file. So let's go ahead and choose Backup Config. And it'll let you know that the backup has been completed. You can choose OK there and then just close out of Pat Menu. Now, the next thing we need to do is run pat space configure. And that is going to open up our pat configuration file. We're going to come all the way down to the very bottom of this file. This should be the last line that you see in yours, which is version reporting disabled false. We're going to put a comma at the end of that line and press return to give us a new line. Now, I already have this saved here, so I'm going to copy and paste this line. Guys, I will leave this one line of code down in the description uh, below the video. So if you can't read it here on the screen by pausing or whatever, you can always go down to the bottom and get it there. Let's go ahead and paste in that one line of code. And I'm going to put a couple of spaces there so it matches up with everything else. Once you've got this done, let's press Control S and Control X to get out of it. Now we need to restart uh, the PAT service. We're going to do that with sudo space systemctl restart PAT at pi. Oop, I don't need a space right there, pat at pi, and go ahead and press return, and that will restart the pat service. Now, let's verify that it is running with PID of pat. As long as you get a number here, you will know that pat has restarted successfully. At this point, go ahead and open up your pat mailbox in a browser, and we're going to choose action and update form templates. We'll get the same window that we did on the other uh, when we were doing it the first time here and let's go ahead and click on update now. Within just a couple of seconds we get this update forms too and the latest version of the forms. We can go ahead and close this. Once again let's go ahead and uh, press refresh right here on our browser window to make sure all of our changes have taken effect. Now, let's try it out and see what happens. Let's go to Action and Compose. Once again, we're going to click on the templates right here, just like we did before. And you should see a list of all of those templates that you can utilize. So again, we'll go ahead and click on uh, ICS USA Forms, and we'll choose ICS 213. That should load up into a new browser window and give you that general message, ICS 213 form. And there you have it. That's how you get WinLink forms up and running inside of Pat WinLink. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off, and we will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.